like, I have never heard of this anywhere on the internet. Create a gap in between low value tasks and stimulation, really what it is, and concentration and focus. Create a gap between stimulation and focus. What is up guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna give you guys a quick pro tip and this is something that I haven't seen or heard anywhere on the internet. So I don't think I invented it, but it's through experience and it's how to manipulate your brain waves in order to get things done better and faster and how to get into the mood and groove of doing high value tasks and activities. So here is basically what I do and you, it's so easy like you could for sure do it and if you're not doing it you're for sure hurting yourself from succeeding and doing better in school or work or any tasks that are important so here it goes so usually when i drive to work or i'm driving home i'll listen to music i'll listen to a podcast um and that's just the way it goes you know i'll listen to something the brain is being stimulated during this time so you feel um, it's probably going to be like, um, there's different wavelengths. Uh, there's gamma, beta, alpha, theta, and delta. So you're probably on the higher end, like vo, 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 vo. you're being stimulated, you're listening, you're rapping, you're singing, it's like vo, 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 you're being stimulated. Um, a lot of dopamine, social media, whatever, YouTube, you're, whatever you're looking at. and that's on one end of going to work or going to go study this is a big one for going to go study and then let's say you get to work you're listening to music whatever uh you're on social media and then you get to work and then it's like you have a task that requires a whole different brain wavelength and a whole different shift in your neurotransmitters right so you go from vo -vo 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 to like focus vo -vo -vo calm work reading studying taking small steps thinking more cognitively rationalizing the brave waves go down uh and you feel you have to focus and relax and you're not being as stimulated anymore you don't have the same vo -vo 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 -vo. so here is the pro tip um and i learned this because i would st i'd be stimulated listening to music on instagram or whatever then i try to go read and i would legit fall asleep I would legit not be able to focus and it, it was because the transition and the step down from these high frequency brain waves and dopamine spikes and serotonin to focus study was so dramatic that my brain literally fell asleep it was so difficult literally to go from that to, to a lower uh, brave wave. it was just so difficult so Pro tip, it's extremely easy. You create a gap in between low value, low value tasks like driving, commuting, getting to the library, about to study, to actually studying and being focused. So this gap, you stay quiet, you don't listen to music, you literally walk to the library, you drive to work in silence, you go from being stimulated, let's say you're listening to a podcast, I got 10 minutes left on my drive to the library or to my drive to work, I turn off the music and you let your brain just drop down to a lower frequency. And when you get to the library, when you get to work, you're already at a drop frequency and calm and relax and it's much easier for you to go ahead, relax and be able to study. If you try to listen to music all the way into the library, then turn off the music and then focus, you're gonna be stuck. You're just gonna be like, uh, it's such a big jump. So please take this as a pro tip. This is also, you can relate it to meditation. If you uh, meditate and you've fallen asleep before, you're in a, an, an awake state. Your brain waves are boom, 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 being active, active. And then you're like, okay, completely stop. We're gonna meditate. And then you completely skip over the meditation wavelength right into the delta sleeping wavelength so you skip over theta right into delta and fall asleep so same thing goes from being stimulated while you're watching youtube social media listening to music listening to podcasts and then trying to get into that study mode or work mode or focus mode high value high value task mode 
So extremely pro tip. I have never heard of this anywhere on the internet. Create a gap in between low value task and stimulation, really what it is, and concentration and focus. Create a gap between stimulation and focus. So hope that helps you guys. And again, I'm making these videos to help you guys improve the world, improve yourself. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Follow on Instagram if you haven't followed on Instagram. Catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.